be afraid, be very afraid. Here I am at bloody Scotland, and one of the most terrifying prospects is the idea of best-selling author Carol Ramsey cooking up a storm. Carol's event, The Killer Cookbook, this afternoon. The Killer Cook-Off. The Killer Cook-Off. With a difference. Yes. There's no cooking. Do you need a hand at all? No, I'm fine, thanks. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, maybe you could whisk up something pretty snappy, could you? <laughs> what? Just whisk up a few answers for you. Yes, please. Now tell us all about the Killer Cookbook, because it's for a good cause, isn't it? It's a very, very good cause. Uh, Sue Black's Million for a Morgue campaign um, to help with um, ident- identification of um, victims of um, mass incidents, really. Uh, the Scots pathologists and forensic anthropologists are the best in the world, and indeed university needs a new morgue to train them, so she needs £2 million, and um, the crime writers have taken it upon themselves to raise a million pounds for her. That's great, and quite a number of crime writers have been involved. First of all, in uh, the Killer Cookbook, which you were involved in putting together. Tell us about those people who've been involved in some of the amazing recipes that they've come up with. Um, I think the most amazing recipe was Craig Robertson's, um, which was the black pudding made with human blood. And uh, he was collecting his own blood to use for uh, his recipe this afternoon. And he's got um, a pint of his own blood in his fridge at the moment, which, as Tony Hancock would say, is almost an armful. Now, I have to ask, are there not health and safety issues attached well, to Well, seemingly that? there is health and safety issues, but being a crime writer, you don't you don't view life in that kind of way. Um, but yes, they've decided that crime writers can't be trusted with anything sharp. Um, so basically we're doing an assembly job. So instead of doing um, what we've now called it, want to cook, not allowed to cook, and we're doing it to music. Okay, so why have you called it one to cook, not allowed to cook? Because of the health and safety one, well, not allowed to use anything sharp. You've been huckled. <laughs> We've been huckled, Okay, yes. good stuff. But tell us some of the other authors who are involved in this cookbook, because it's been out for a while now, but there's it's some really out, great names attached to it. It's actually been out for almost a year now, but mm-hmm. yes, uh, Tess Gerritsen's in there, Jeff De Diva's in there, mm-hmm. um, the guy that writes Dexter is in there, uh, they've got the Bone Collective recipes in there, so, and... Although some of the, all the recipes can be made, but some of the recipes are from very, very good restaurants. Both those crime writers have a chain of restaurants and they just said, mm. what's the most popular thing you have? Um, it has to, be, has to be said that when it says in the recipe, you know, um, a very expensive brand of vodka, we are maybe not using the most expensive brand mm-hmm. of vodka. And how is the campaign, the Million for a Morgue, or Two Million for a Morgue, as it appears to be now, campaign going? It's going well. I think they're going to close it around Christmas, or it's going to have a last wee sort of a burst to try and get there. Um, having said that, we've been going for about, well, by then it'll be 18 months, and the way prices are rising, the morgues of getting slightly further beyond us. But we're, we're going to keep trying and see as much as we get, and then maybe go back to university and plead poverty. Well, Caro, thank you very much, and please stop waving that knife about. That's my job.